Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will show you how to schedule a PowerShell task to run. And in this case, we're doing SharePoint work, of course, so it is a little bit different than other demos you might have seen there. The main difference is, of course, the password that you need to save the password. I've done another demo on how to do that, so if you don't know, please check that out. I'm using the add PNP stored credential. So this is stored in my Windows credentials vault, which is good. Then scheduling will work also. So I have this script that uploads files into SharePoint from a specific directory. And I want that to run every 10 minutes or so. So what I'm going to do is just go into task scheduler and create a new task. I'm going to create it here, right click. And the task is going to be upload files to SharePoint, right? There we go. And that's going to run whether a user is logged in or not. And it's also going to run with the highest privileges. This seems to be an issue because I'm connected to Azure AD. So in order for me to save, it has to be run with the highest privileges. So that's that. And the trigger is going to be a timer, of course. It's going to be on a daily basis. So let's start that, and then I'm going to repeat the task once every 10 minutes. It's fine. There we go. And then the action is going to be a PowerShell. It's going to run a program. That program is PowerShell. Lowercase is usually recommended. There we go. And the argument that I'm going to send is, of course, the file I want PowerShell to run. So it's going to be file and then the path to the script. And I put the script here in C scripts. I'm just going to copy the path to that to make sure everything is correct. And there we go. Paste that, and that's it. I'm done. So now I simply save that, select my Azure AD account, type in my password. There we go. Now it's saved, and now it runs every day starting at 16.08, which is right about now. And um, but let's try it. Let's just see here where the files are. These are the files to import. I'll just do some pictures here from my people pack here. There we go. I'll take some of those, just four of them, and put them into the to import. There they are. And now I'll run the script manually. Of course, it's going to run automatically, but now I will just kick it off there, run. And now the status is running. Uh, let's see what's happening here. They're all gone. They're all gone. They're all uploaded into SharePoint. So let's refresh this and see if any files were uploaded in the last minutes or so. Newer to older, that's what we want. A few seconds ago, those are the files that I had just uploaded. And I did that using the task scheduler, which in turn kicked off a PowerShell, logged in, uploaded the files, and moved them into the subdirectory. So that all worked. Thank you for watching this demo.